immediately underneath where we're standing is actually the chalk aquifer. Chalk streams are an extremely special habitat because they're extremely rare. So shall we take a little amble along the river? And yeah, I think it's There's another gamerous. The River Nar is, is a chalk stream. They're very typical of English rivers in that they're in trouble. We've made some big strides in recent years in cleaning up sewage pollution, but there are still big problems remaining around abstraction of water, which dries up rivers. We've got big threats with pollution, in particular from agriculture, sediment, pesticides, fertilizers, but also from urban areas, things like road runoff. And then, of course, we've got the looming impacts of climate change. When you think about the ingredients in our brands, the number one ingredient is water. It's the lifeblood and there's no substitution. So we as a big business across many countries have to ensure that we are protecting this very special natural resource in every way that we can. WWF and COCA are working here on the River Nar and also on another chalk stream, the River Cray in London. What we're hoping to do as part of this partnership, we're hoping to use these rivers to demonstrate to government and to other partners what good looks like. Almost 98% of what we sell here in the UK is actually manufactured here. And here in Norfolk is where we source a lot of the sugar beet that we use in our products. And what we wanted to see from the project is improvements in both the quality and the quantity of water in the river catchments. When you have these steep bank edges, you get nothing on those banks except nettles and brambles. So we're trying to recreate these low-lying banks as much as possible. We're going to be working with farmers who supply sugar beet to coke to try and improve their management practices so that there's reduced pollution from their farms into the river. And we're also going to be doing some practical river restoration across a kilometre stretch of the river. Instead of it being a straight agricultural ditch, we're going to try and make it a little bit curvy, a little more, bit more interesting for the ecology. So what we've done is we've dug a new channel which has got sinuous line put it back in the middle of the floodplain. So what that means is when it floods, the water will go onto the um, floodplain, which is what's supposed to happen. Increasingly, companies, as they think about sustainability, are starting to look beyond their factory walls and think about the impacts that they have right along their value chain. And certainly for a business like Coca-Cola Enterprises, we, we know the importance of water to our business and we know also the fragility of the ecosystems around us and we also know the potential future impacts directly on our business of water stress. That's why it's important to us and that's why I think increasingly it has to be important for many, many more businesses. The various things the fish eat. The partnership with Coca-Cola is, is quite interesting because it's a partnership with the private sector the private sector needs water and increasingly we're seeing companies taking an interest in water as an issue of strategic risk for their companies. So working with a pioneer company like Coke really shows exactly what companies can do about that in a very practical sense. Coke's support and funding helps realize this incredible project gives a voice to something that millions of people will then see. Hopefully government will then see the benefit from this and sponsor it and take it to scale. It's the first time we've done anything like this in the UK and we're really excited about it.